people are organized. Uh, they, they get themselves together. They take the lights off their tree. How come this is how the lights end up off my tree? I look like doggone, um, Mary, did you know? And I wonder, walk on water. Did you know? I really do. I do like that song. I just went downstairs. And my family, they're watching Lawrence of Arabia. And I was like, I thought y'all were playing tennis. And my husband legit said, well, I was going to, but my stomach hurts. I was like, are you sick? He was like, no, actually I was lying because I didn't want to play. It's like, now everybody will know that was a lie. I'm giving Amos some chocolate ice cream, which is a really wonderful, wonderful thing to give somebody. Um, is get, they're getting ready to go to bed. I don't know why the lights happen like this. The, you know, the first tree died. The second tree fell down. And I, all I did was go to the freaking grocery store. And you've subscribed, I'm so glad. And I come go to the grocery store and I come home and the ornaments are all off the tree and the lights are like in a heap. Well, I pulled them off the tree today. This is what they look like. And I said to my children, why, why did you take the freaking plug them in? I don't know if it'll work. I can try this. Why did you take the freaking, um, <gasps> oh, oh, it does work. Why did you take the ornaments off the tree? And my 17-year-old, who, you know, is fairly bright and competent, says, well, I thought we were going to have to throw the tree away. I said, why? Well, because it fell down. I was like, mm -hmm. well, it was broken. I was like, no, no. When a tree falls down, it doesn't. Amos, come get your ice cream. When a tree fall, come in here. When a tree falls down, you don't throw it away. You you pick it back up. Like, do I have I really raised these people to be so? I'm sorry, but not not winning any kind of awards. You know. Hmm. another plug. So I, I tried to convince my husband to deal with this. And you know what he said? I mean, I, well, I can't say what he said because Facebook has, I'm in trouble with Facebook because I have, I have broken some sort of content standard, content policy. So they no longer put ads in my live videos because I guess they feel like they need to, <laughs> they need to watch me carefully before they decide if they're gonna, you know, let me make money on my videos. I still have subscribers though, so I'm safe with that. And today, the I read the rules. Well, basically, you can't do anything. You can't cuss, you can't do obscene gestures. This is not an obscene gesture. You can't talk about things unless you're overtly positive. You can't talk about issues. I mean, it's like I've just discovered I might live in a communist country. I cannot plug this. <clears throat> Golly Moses. I, I was cleaning up the kitchen. So I feel like this is social media in, in like a nutshell. Okay, right? So in social media, well, they actually don't look like me. But they're like, look, this is a wonderful thing here. I'm cooking. 
I've got my wonderful stir, got my pot from the Habitat store. Stirring and stirring and stirring my brew. Making some mushroom soup today. Homemade. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. What are you doing? Getting water. Oh. And then, this is the other part of the kitchen. This is the part of the kitchen that didn't find social media. Someone was cooking hamburgers. Someone who's 15. I wrap my lights around cardboard so they don't get tangled. Well, I'm sure you do because you're a genius and I'm not. I've got melted ice cream to go give Amos. Russell, what do you think? I rearranged the living room. What do you think about my new arrangement? I mean, it has more space. Does, ah, I just stepped on the lights. I also wash the couches. So, I mean, this room, you're like, la, 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 la. And then you come in here and you're like, help me, help me, help me. What's happening here? We've got Legos and books and... Back, here's your ice cream. Are you coming? Yes. Okay, well, come eat it. Mm. You've sure got a mess, Amos. You need to eat that and then have your gummy. No, you won't. You're not getting your gummy, I used to take the lights off the tree and toss them in the trash can. <gasps> on them again. Oh no, this is a different grouping. These are just some that are laying around. What are you having? Ice cream. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Everybody's having ice cream. Russell, have you had a good Christmas break? Yeah. You enjoyed being home? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited to go back to school? Yeah. Do you like school? Yeah. Other, other Families, bloggers, they have their children. They're really interested in being on videos. They talk a lot. Other families. Not mine. Mm -mm. No sorry, Bobby. Where did you get your sofas? Um, let's see, where did I get the sofas? They are made by Lee Industries, which is in a North Carolina furniture company, which I really like a lot and um, they are white, which everybody always thinks is insane until I tell them that you can take the covers off and put them in the washing machine with a large amount of bleach and Tide, which is what I did today. Yeah. I also keep them basically wrapped up with blankets on them and try to keep people from eating chocolate ice cream on the couch. Normally it's like cat vomit that's our main problem. the house full of kids. We had a lot of kids here last night. Mm -hmm. New did you, Year's Day. Did you stay up late? No. Did you stay up past midnight? Pretty much not. You didn't? Not really. I went to bed at 11. Mm -hmm. I like white couches. Are they cloud couches? I don't know what the hell is a cloud couch. I'm not sure. So I had a 15 year old that had like people here. No, Russell, so my 15 year old asked for the world's brightest flashlight for Christmas. It's like $600. No, he didn't get that. So my 15 year old had boys and girls over here. They're hanging out. Then I have a 13 year old and this is what they did. They organized Sour Patch Kids by color. And then my 17 year old was at a debutante ball in Philadelphia. How about that for a lot of differences with ages? Oh, there's another child that doesn't belong to me. What's he doing? Big time so I can get some ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Eating. They're eating here. This is a K&W. Did you have chili? 
I did it. It was pretty good. You could have some mushroom soup on your ice cream. Doesn't sound too good. Mm -hmm. This is batch. This is... Uh, batch has a whole nother week till he goes back to school. Uh, How is little Thomas's party batch? Have you asked him? I haven't. We don't know. Mm -mm. I think I just subscribed. I don't see your the blue button by your name. Are you a painter? Mm -mm. I'm not a painter. I wish I could paint. What did y'all end up eating? Well, all the restaurants in Edenton were closed, and no one wanted my mushroom soup. And so we. Where went. is it? I'll try it. It's on the yes. Thank you, Bachelor. It's on the it's on the stove there. So we had Wendy's chili. That's just gonna taste it here. Let's see, this is a real test. I like it. It's pretty good. See, it's very good. Last year I put leftover steak in it, and they really didn't like that. That's amazing. So I think the leftover steak would have made it. Thank you. See, that's what I thought, Batch. Was it the raw steak though? No, it wasn't raw. It was, it was grilled steak. But it was just. No, I think it's pretty good. That's my fireplace. My fireplace isn't fooling anybody, though. It's not looking real real. The other thing it does is all this black comes up here and gets on the um, mantle. I think the fire should be like, see those logs with the holes in it? Like, I think the fire is supposed to be shooting out of those logs, but it's not. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Maybe I need to pull like the logs closer. <gasps> hey, Carol, you are. Now you're a subscriber. I see your name. Where do all my lights go? Love your interior design. I did it. Mm -hmm. It's called Habitat Store Meets. I finally bought couches. Like this, Mira. Mm -hmm. This. So on my subscriber page, I do like tours. This light fixture I got from the Habitat Restore. I should stop telling people about the Rabbit Habitat Store because now all the good, sh good stuff. Honey, you've eaten all the chocolate. Do you want some vanilla? Okay, I thought I heard the dog. You're not allowed to cuss on Facebook either. And at this rate, I'm never gonna be able to have lot ads in live videos. The logs need to be moved. Oh, is your damper open? I don't know. Is it? Where's the spoon? It dropped. It dropped, but where? Into the Legos. Into the Legos? The spoon? Yes. Well, well pick it up. No, pick it up, Bobby. Um, call the fireplace company. Oh, well, that's a good idea. What was I saying? I was talking about something. I can't remember. Logs, the fire. Oh, the furniture. Oh, the light. The light in the dining room I got at the Dern Habitat store for $30. $30. Now, I had to pay like $200 to get it looking really good. But... So I like to use, <laughs> I have some sterling silver and I use it every day because it seems smart too, you know? Like, why would you not use it? These spoons, this is, these spoons were free to me. You know where they came from? They say Maddie on them. I lived at this house in Chapel Hill and somebody had clearly hidden them from themselves and stuck them way back in a closet on the back of the shelf. And when I was cleaning out, I found them. Yeah. I'm getting you a spoon. Now they're mine. Stop telling people about the Habitat store. I know, I'm gonna try to stop. I just have a, I have a sickness. I cannot go buy something for a good deal. Oh, 60 Minutes is talking about Wagovi. Here you go. I can't get something for a good deal and not tell people about it. It's it's a sickness. Vanilla. Here, you're taking it. Vanilla water. Well, it's vanilla ice cream. Chocolate. 
Mm -hmm. You there's chocolate water. You didn't recognize me without my Daniel Boone hat. That gas is your trim. You shouldn't be getting any black on it. Oh, check the fireplace. Okay. I mean, what do I look like? I don't have anything to do. Did you get a bread knife for Christmas? Yes, I did. Darn it. Somebody gave me a bread knife for Christmas because they're, people get so offended by the way I cut things or use my, my cheek. But now my dining room looks so, so boring. Do you have a book for the fireplace? Maybe. You need to go back and watch last New Year's Eve video. My video last New Year's Eve? What was I doing? I don't know. Me don't know. Was it involved in with my parents? What about Wagovi? So I have lost 30 something pounds on Wagovi. In fact, you've just reminded me that I need to take, I need to do my Wagovi shot today because I do it on Sundays. Well, I started on, so in like March, I started this kind of weight loss regimen business. And um, I switched from Saxenda, which was a daily shot, to Wagovi. Now, the one thing about this thing is kind of tricky. You, you sh hold on, I'm gonna shoot it in my fanny. You need to get a hard spot. What do I get if I subscribe? You get, um, what do you get? You get nothing. No, you get, every day I do a live video, you get, um, last year, New Year's Eve, I did a, a golf cart video with my friends, Mary Scott and Paul. That was really fun. We have a gas fireplace repaired for $4,000? Are you on crack? Okay, I am not doing that. And um, we went and knocked on people's doors and, um, <laughs> that was a subscriber video. Okay. Oh, good. It's all done. Wagovi. Mm -hmm. Ah! It's stripping. I'm losing the Wagovi. Get it in my system. Well, it's not. It's not that hard. Yes, I was super nauseated for like two weeks, and my friend was like, "Just push through, push through. You can do it." And so. Um, and so I did, I pushed through and did fine. So I highly recommend um, if you have been chubby McChub Chub your whole life, like me, well, I was, I was actually thin when I was younger, but then, you know what my, but I have always been, and this is a true story, my whole life is potentially not safe. My God, I know we're trying to make bananas. My whole life, I have been hungry. I am a hungry, hungry, hungry person. And then suddenly, I start taking this medicine and I become a skinny person. You, y'all were riding around seeing who was having a party that you weren't invited to. But no, I do, that, I do enjoy that. <laughs> yes, it's a prescription. Um, and I started taking this medicine and it suddenly, I always thought that if you were hungry, you know, you needed to eat. Like, it's dangerous, I'm hungry, I have gotta eat. No, no, evidently, it's not your stomach that tells you you're hungry, it's your brain. Did y'all know this? I mean, I didn't know this. What do we do now? Oh, I tell you what you're gonna do. No. You're not gonna touch my couch because you have chocolate. Over your, your hands. <laughs> Did he just get chocolate on my couch? My God. So I have. <laughs> you need food. Well, I bet you do. So these are all the blankets that go on the couch. I'm like an old person with like plastic, but they don't make plastic anymore. Look at mommy. Do not put your hands on my couch. Do you do you want a hamburger? Uh, yeah. Do you want a hamburger? Yes. Okay. 
No, the medicine, my insurance covers it. So if your insurance covered it, it's not expensive. But if it doesn't, yeah, I could see it would be insanely expensive. Winding lights around empty rolls. What? I don't know what I'm doing. I just I don't have a plan. Yes. So when this medicine, it like does some something in your brain and it just tells you you're not hungry anymore. So it's always been my brain that said, eat, you're hungry. No, 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 I ain't hungry. Uh-uh. No sorry, Bobby. I was on Zimpic till the Hollywood stores took all of it. I haven't had trouble getting it. I go to my blunts, my drug store. Mm -hmm. Does it give you energy? Mm, no, I don't think so. Some people even get it from Canada. Maybe I'm not allowed to talk about medicine. It's not like I own a drug company. Maybe that's why Facebook has got me on the, on the bad list. It's called Wagovi. Saxenda Wagovi. Evidently, it's on 60 Minutes tonight. How does your brain tell you? Well, I don't know. My brain tricks me. It tells my stomach that it's hungry. How much have you lost? Well, I started, here's your hamburger. It's very hot. I started at 186 and I'm at like 154. Shut her down cold. Shut her down cold. That's just right. That's just right. Um, yeah, I'll have to take it forever. Hi. Does he use the room downstairs? We have a big playroom downstairs. He does like the playroom downstairs. Um, cause big Thomas and the kids watch football down there. What will happen when you stop the medication? Um, well, I'm not planning to. So it's no different than if you have diabetes, you don't get your diabetes under control and then quit. Or if you have high blood pressure or cholesterol issues, you just keep on taking it. And, um, for people that are like, I don't think that's a good idea, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can tell you what's not a good idea is being chubby McChub Chub. This is the Wagovi. And yes, you're seeing it backwards. I can't help you that you're seeing it backwards. I don't know what to tell you. Um, because my knees were hurting, I was starting to, um, what else was I starting? Oh, well, my knee hurt. And then you're like at risk for like nine times more cancer nine different types of cancer, like breast cancer, when you're obese. And, um, no gummy. Hamburger, then gummy. And then you and I gotta go take your shower. What kind of doctor? A witch doctor. No, a, P, a PA. <laughs> so my friend Angela, um, has does weekly that's one subscriber thing we do we were doing weekly subscriber videos um and talking about different kind of health things have you experienced hair thinness um i don't think so but i don't know is there a special diet no there's no diet it's just i mean you do like i do a little bit of intermittent fasting and i try to drink more water and i try to make generally good decisions, you know, like if I'm like, oh, I want to have pizza, but it's really, my brain helps a lot too. But you know, if I'm having pizza or wings, I don't order 20 wings. I might get us 12, you know? So it's, it's just trying to use a little bit of smarty, but it's easy. You know how, you know what it's like? It's like, Part of the tree came off the lights. Um, it's like when you, so you, let's say you go to the grocery store and you're gonna go to the grocery store. Now you're real hungry when you go to the grocery store. What happens when you're real hungry and you go to the grocery store? Well, I'll tell you what happens to me when I go to the grocery store. Uh-oh, Ramiz needs help. Ramiz, if you become a subscriber, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. I can help you. I'll give you my cash app so you can pay me and then I'll send you some money back. Um, you go to the grocery store and you're like, you know what I haven't had in a while? I haven't had pigs in a blanket. 
you buy a little bag of those tiny little hot dogs, you get some of those croissant rolls, then you're like, I'm gonna make those. And then you're like, oh gosh, I love French onion chip dip. I'm gonna get some French onion chip dip. And then I'm gonna get a bag of Doritos. And then, oh, have you had the Tennessee Pride sausage balls? They are so good. I mean, I love a Tennessee Pride sausage ball. And then look, there's Tony Roma ribs. Mm, that's good. You know, I haven't bought cheese soup in a while. I'm gonna buy some cheese soup and I'm gonna put it on toast after I cook the bacon. Do I have bacon? And cut up some tomatoes. And that's gonna be really good. I'm gonna have that for breakfast. Well, now, I've, I've just overdone my point. Now, let's practice. Let's, okay. let's practice when you have eaten and you go to the grocery store. You don't buy the hot dogs. You don't buy the this. You don't buy the that. You go to the grocery store and you might buy some romaine lettuce. Or you might buy some, you know, oranges. You might even eat an orange. Your glasses are broken. Are you sure they are? Yeah. I know I have to take them and get them fixed when I have time, which is probably never. So anyway, it just makes it where you're not hungry, but you still make good, it's way easier to make good choices when you're not hungry. <gasps> Country sausage from Dorch's, Smith's Red and White. So Smith's Red and White is like, if you're from North Carolina, you know about Smith's Red and White. It's my friend Derek Smith's family's grocery store. They have a hog farm and they have the most wonderful sausage and bacon and uh, cake. Amos legit ate an entire chocolate cake over Christmas by himself. Okay, this is not, not working well. Can you tell me the name again? Wagovi. Do you eat vegetables? Wagovi. I never see any. Wagovi. Wait, are you even a follower of mine? How would you know if I ate vegetables? I mean, it's not like I'm in that show, what's it, the Truman Show, where there's like a video on all the time? Wagovi. What the hell? I got Wagovi. mushroom soup in there right now. What? Wagovi. You need more food. Okay, you've had two hamburgers, ice cream, a cheese stick, some strawberries. Mm. What I had for dinner, I've just been finding like treats that people left us. I ate an entire box of cookies. Which is not ideal, but then you know what? I didn't eat a bowl of soup. Instead, I just had Treats. Uh-huh. Oh, good. Okay. You want peanut? Yeah, I eat celery. Darn it. Remind You all remind me, the subscribers remind me not to cuss. No more cussing is allowed on Facebook. You want peanut butter toast or plain toast? Canes. Look at this candy cane someone mailed me. <laughs> you are a genius. <gasps> Nobody's ever called me a genius. Okay, are you ready? Okay, this is really good. So my friend Lisa gave me this years ago. She had taken all my Christmas cards I ever mailed and put them on this little loop-de-loop -loop and gave it to me as a present. Look how, look how cute my children used to be. They were nice then and small and agreeable. Okay, you ready? Ready? The world's biggest candy cane. I can't video you? Then why are you in my space? Somebody just, somebody just asked if I ever ate vegetables. That's very offensive. Why are you laughing? Don't I eat vegetables? 
Well, I mean, I know who doesn't eat vegetables. It's you. Who cares about vegetables? <laughs> I eat fruit. Jeez. This is why we have a subscriber page. People don't judge us. I'll tell you what's really going to blow your mind in a minute is when I give Amos some Fruit Loops. Because Fruit Loops... My son, who's on the spectrum, would always say, I'm hungry, but he was nauseated. Oh, well, how did you know? I think Amos is hungry. He just goes through these, like, weird growth spurts. Sissy, would you like some mushroom soup? Yeah, I love mushroom soup. See, it's a vegetable. Whenever I pull out the Fruit Loops, somebody comes along and talks to me about autism and food dye. What do you think makes them this color? The strawberries and the fruit. <laughs> and the cantaloupe. Yeah. That's right. Strawberries, cantaloupe, lemons, grapes. They're trying to be mean. Green apples, oranges. Stop being mean. I'm not being mean. I'm really? You're smart. I know. The candy cane was what I sent you. Terry, you sent me that candy cane? Thank you, Terry. Why are you saying thank you? That's mine. No, no, that is my candy cane. Are you going to eat it? Yeah, I'm going to start on it tomorrow when I get y'all back to school and I'm celebrating. You don't even see me. I've never had a... <laughs> I've seen you for two weeks. Okay, here you go. Love. Okay, did you eat your gummy? Yes. Okay. Love. Okay, you and I, you got to go go night night. Love. Oh, God. Why don't you use a knife? No, do not throw a bagel away when it when you can't open it. Why would you do that? Okay, did you use a knife? Yes. Where? Where's the knife? I put it back. Where? It's in there. You did not. You're lying. I did use it. These people, they lie. It's right there in your hand. I left it on the couch. They're liars. Why can't people mind their own business? Because they make my life makes them feel better about their own life. They feel so organized. Especially because our kitchen is kind of dirty right now. Our kitchen looks beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> You're showing me. <laughs> Until you show this part of it. Here, take that. Fruit Loops aren't food. Are all of your children at boarding school? Yeah. Unfortunately, no. no. Only half of them. And, th and three of them are here right now. When they're at boarding school, think how bored I'll be. I know, I'm so excited. Mm -mm. It's bad times around here. I'm going to be very professional. I'm going to be talking about all sorts you're of... Gonna, when I go to boarding school, you're literally going to have like... We're going to have like a Thanksgiving Christmas. Like a Thanksgiving card. And like a fall card. Why? <laughs> You don't think I'll have anything to do? Yeah, you have nothing to do. Like, you're going to have, like, a puzzle wall. <laughs> <laughs> a, puzz a puzzle wall. You know you've really hit a low point when you have a puzzle wall. <laughs> I might start cooking more. Cooking what? You know, maybe because I have a little person with autism who doesn't appear to be going anywhere, that I don't really worry that I'm getting bored. Mmm. That is some good soup there. Good soup. Okay, Tootsie Pops. I got to go get uh, get everybody to bed. Has mm. Little Thomas called. Everybody, one person. Little Thomas said that he will come on with my subscribers and tell us about the debutante ball in Philadelphia. <laughs> what? I thought you were joking. No, he really did. I bet he did. I would like to know how you made the mushroom soup. Well, I did a subscriber cooking video earlier today and I gave the <laughs> recipe out. I'm, a I'm an assistant to a social media influencer and I do the fan mail. You're an assistant? How did, how did, how did someone find you, an assistant? Who, who's your, who are this your is, assistant? This is my assistant. Mm -hmm. Now I'm Facebook's gonna assistant. ban me for child labor. <laughs> I don't have a I don't have an assistant. You just have helpers. 
I do have a helper. Is Blair going to boarding school? Yes. She is. She hopes she is. Not, not today. She has another whole year home with her mother. With her mother. Adrian is the best mother everywhere. How many bagels are you having? Why are people, I mean, I feel like all you people do is eat. Happy birthday, Pam. Legit. They just sit around and they eat. Where's Russell? I'm sure he's eating. How do you drink ketone? Mom, I need more books. I love books. Well, honey, you should go to the library. That's scary over there. They're always like, you have 29 cents. Romaine lettuce, that's a vegetable. Oh, actually, uh-oh, that's not a vegetable. Celery. Ham rolls from Christmas. These are a little bit teensy bit sad. Cheddar cheese, best if used by 116. So now we're, oh, we have corn. Ugh. What do you mean, ugh? Oh, we had, we, our family struggles with illness. We had the stomach bug, not all of us, but mm, it was just me. somebody had the stomach bug and they had eaten a lot of, a lot of corn. Would you like some corn tonight? I'm never eating corn again. <laughs> you know. One time, Daddy had the stomach bug, and you know what he'd eaten? Johnny Marzetti. So, you know you're a Yankee when you eat stuff called Johnny Marzetti. My mother made Johnny Marzetti. It's like lasagna with no cheese. Well, Johnny Marzetti, he got sick on Johnny Marzetti. I got sick one time after I ate a whole can of those cheese balls. You remember how they used to come in the can, the blue can with the plastic lid? a whole can of cheese balls. Nothing will make you never eat something again than the stomach bug. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's bad times. Bad times. All right. I got to go get somebody to bed. We have school tomorrow. Today, we slept till like noon. It's going to be rough. Rough. Subscribers, I'll see you in the morning at 8.15 for coffee or tea at the coffee shop with Dale Homestead, which is so fun. And I'm going to finish getting my, getting my lights done. Carry on, people.